It doesn't matter. Okay, you're gonna have to guide me through this. No, no, no. Like, Smash 4 or Smash 64, it's a very basic game. There's a lot of, uh... Silliness? Uh, yes, there is a lot of silliness, too, with it, but... Ultimately, what's not... Smash 64 it is very bad to hold up your shields because there are so many shield break combos. Yeah. Uh, Kirby actually has a shield break combo with a down air or forward air into up tilt, up tilt. If you don't like all of your shields, your shield's gonna get broken, and in most cases, people will actually let go of their shields because the punish they get from that, from the shield breaker, is gonna net, net them in depth instead of just a higher percentage. So we have a top tier uh, battle, by the way, no swearing, please. Yeah, okay, I'll try my best to you. But otherwise, this is a very top tier battle here just because Pikachu has the ability to confirm very easily with his forward there. Yeah, I didn't know Joe had a Pikachu. I thought it was only a Kirby player. And sometimes DK when he's being cheesy. Yeah, he's mainly a DK player, but in this case, he does want to win against uh, Kirk McGurk. Yeah. But right now, it does not look like good things for... Uh, for Coach Joe right now. Yeah, he has lack of stage control right now, so it's kind of arming him. But he actually made it back into neutral game, which is really hard to do in this yep. game, isn't it? And now he has stage control, but, but now gave it up by yeah. like going out. Isn't it Pikachu's up be really stupid or something? Like it is amazing, and that's what makes Pikachu very much top here, is that 360 degree uh, angle to recover. Oh uh, yeah, and it's like a lot of characters either have godlike recovery or really shitty recovery in this game, right? Very bad recovery. <laughs> but yes. Fourth rate. <laughs> um, but like, did Joe also say something that has like invincibility or something on it? That I'm not sure. Uh, Another thing that would make Pikachu uh, top tier is that his over there, you see that they're throwing it out. It is very easy to hit confirm off of that. Yeah. Overall, do you think like uh, Joe can win a whole entire like 10 games? Or six games out of ten potentially because uh, I thought he was a better player than Kurt, but the fact that he's in loser side. Yeah, unfortunately, when they met in winners finals, uh, Kurt was, was up 2-0, uh, uh, and then Kurt McGurk did bring it back. Yeah, he switched to Pikachu though, right? And he, he just did. pooped on Joe's uh, Kirby, right? Correct. Oh man. Well, it looks like Joe has a good grasp on his Pikachu because he currently has a lead. Yeah, but we'll see how how long that actually lasts. Just because Pikachu is top oh. tier for a reason. Yeah. Nicely spotting that edge and throws oh. it. He's gonna be able to get more damage. Oh, that follow up. Uh, pick up from with the forward tilt. Yeah. Or forward there, rather. Ooh, that back air is so strong. Uh, I gotta go. Alrighty, you got a match? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, thanks for having me on stream temporarily. I'm sorry I'm not esports enough for this. <laughs> thanks, Dan. But otherwise, we're going to be looking at double Pikachu battles. There's nothing really special to say about this. Uh, Pikachu can edge up cards. Pikachu so well, as you saw with the forward smash, it does eliminate any type of sweet spot that can happen. Pretty much at this point, it is whoever gets the first hit. It's going to be it. Oh my goodness, Sam. Pikachu's just trying to grab each other, but it's standing back to back. Butterfingers, people. Butterfingers. Kurt McGurk in a very good spot right over here. Gets it with the fourth match once again. And that may be the end for Kojo. So, Kojo with this. He's gonna have to play really careful, not getting off uh, screen. If he can, a uh, recover high as well. Because as we keep seeing, he's recovering either low or mid. And with that, Kurt McGurk keeps forward smashing. Catching him. So are we going to be seeing a... Oh, let's come back on stage without any punish. Kurt McGurk, he tries to cover low, but he gets taken by that uh, forward staff. Kurt McGurk will take the first round here. Gonna be going back to Dreamland. Who are we gonna be seeing? It might be hard for Kojo to operate or to be able to do this match with anybody but uh, Pikachu. I'm gonna go uh, Kirby and go into Pikachu Natural. This is gonna be interesting. What's really nice about this stage is that Pikachu does not have a ledge to a sweet spot. 
so if Pikachu is off the stage, uh, Kirby will be able to get whatever he so desires all on Pikachu. Unfortunately, not working out in Kojo's favor right now, Pikachu does have demon stage control with that force match, that's gonna be the stock right there. Pikachu there, just getting out of the down there from from Kirby. And Pikachu getting saved by that block. I'm not sure what the Kojo was doing there, if he wanted a... if it was an input error, or if he truly wanted the block there. It did not look like it was going to hit at all. Are we going to see the shield breaker? No, he will let go of the shield. Right now, this is going to be a very hard game of pussies for uh, Pikachu right now, just because of no ledge, and if he gets off, he will be at a disadvantage. Seed Silk! And just like that, as you saw, Pikachu had to recover, and Kirby was right there to punish. I'm wondering if that was also a mistake on Kojo, if he wanted the up smash, or if he just wanted it up tilt instead. Good choice by Kojo there. Uh, not opting for the fourth row, otherwise getting doing the seismic toss onto the bumper would have saved Pikachu. Would have also put Kirby at a very disadvantage. Oh, we almost saw that forest match by Pikachu. But Pikachu with the beautiful dash dance it was able to uh, get Kirby on stage. Is he going to be able to capitalize off of this? Does not look like it. it's going to happen. Off the stage. Almost gets the forest match off, but gets tapped by the four there by Kirby. And that is going to be the stock for uh, Kojo. So far, it looks, it looks like, like the, the stage counter pick that Kojo did choose is working out in his favor. However, we'll see how long that, that remains in effect. But people, oh, that is... That was a fourth thing, getting kids. And as you guys know, in 64, because it was the first Smash 64 game, you could only tech if you were falling onto a platform. There were no wall techs, no anything like that. Another popular stage that people usually uh, counterpick to, or not counterpick gentlemen on, is Hyrule Castle just because of the pits in between the castle and the tower itself. We'll see if that actually happens here, if they want to have a fun, or if they're going to uh, continue to play on this, uh, the allowed stages. Almost getting that shield breaker. If that did, if that did shield break her or Pikachu's uh, shield, Pikachu would have uh, fallen to his demise, and that will be the unfortunate side for Kojo. Kojo has a stock deficit. And also, not having any stage control. Getting a beautiful net off, getting it uh, off the stage, and bouncing off of the left platform, or right platform, I'm sorry. Is even now, who's gonna get the touch? Who's gonna, uh, who's gonna perform the one day KO combo here? Kojo with a beautiful follow up, unfortunately, gets hit by the uh, downer from Pikachu. Almost anticipating their, uh, Kirk, where Gert was gonna be. But now I have a very bad deficit. Both on the stage. This got to be a test. Okay. You may see a horse match from Pikachu. And keeping that stage down. And 
will that be it? That will be, that will be good for Kojo. Free for all! So off in the Kurt the Guard, off in to go back to Dreamland. It's actually going to be very good for Pikachu, as we were saying before, being able to sweep spot ledge. Kojo on Winner's Finals actually went to the stage and lost, was up two games to his zero, but then they kept going to this, back to the stage and unfortunately lost. See if Kojo has changed up anything of his plan, or is going to be able to outplay him. Let's get that successful back throw. Beautiful back air for the edge guard, for the KO. So we are in a four-star game, this is Melee, boys. I actually have no idea what just happened there. I looked away and then I saw that Kirby had one less stock. I'm gonna guess a few things and I'm sorry about that folks, I don't know what happened. Uh, we'll just say that I'm not sure. Apologies, folks, we don't have much to offer at this point. We've explained the matchup. It's very hard to really say much about this when we see both top tiers going at it for each other. Unfortunately, this does, if both players were at equal skill level, it would go in Pikachu's favor. But we'll see if Kojo can actually overcome that got needed for Pikachu. A lot of shields being popped up. Unfortunately, a lot of both players aren't able to capitalize truly on the shields, or if both players are dropping their shields immediately, just so to avoid those shield breaker combos. Getting a nice confirm with the forward there, but unfortunately, didn't follow up, but gets the grab off. Back throw, chaos. With this matchup though, I believe that Kirby, oh, Kirby went too low, trying to sweet spot the ledge, but was just a little bit below. I know mainly it may have been able to grab, but I know sweet spotting in 64 is a lot harder. Kojo fishing for those grabs, missing three times in a row. Uh, Pikachu getting the grab instead, uh, throwing off, uh, returning back to neutral. Gonna try and take a firm with both these characters with their forward uh, airs. Getting the grab off stage. See if Joe can keep him off stage. Unfortunately, no. Getting the grab from the shield stone, though, that's gonna uh, help him out with both the percentage and the position, too. Pikachu will get back to the stage and put Kirby uh, at risk, and we have completely in the background. DDD being a lot larger than his melee counterparts in the background. But we do not have the double day day conspiracy in Smash, Smash 64. This game's winner is Pikachu! Free for all! So, not sure what, uh, Joe is, what is going through Joe's mind right now. Uh, it's going to be a hard deficit to come back from, especially with uh, Kurt McGurk being at game point over here.
What is up? It goes well. So strangely, we actually have Kojo switching to boss. I'm not sure what his mindset with this here is. Just because Pikachu does have some rough combos on Fox, and Fox with that linear, more linear recovery than anything else in the game, in this game, more linear than his uh, neutral B laser. Pikachu will be able to edge guard uh, Fox a whole lot easier. We'll see if Gojo brings out a secret weapon though. Uh, the old-fashioned melee uh, fox combo doing jab up smash. Of course, it originated in four, but mainly known now in uh, in uh, melee. So with this going for a force smash, actually did not uh, get that extra. I thought that Kurt Riddler was going to be able to get that easy easy. It was not that easy. So still opting in for that jab butt smash, Kurt McGurr was una unable to avoid it even when he shielded the first jab. Surprisingly enough, I thought uh, he would be able to go away from it. Whether or not that actually provides it, oh that was an unfortunate SD by McGurk. So, so far, uh, Kojo actually benefiting from switching to Fox. That will unfortunately be the end for that sock for Fox. Let's see if he's going to be able to capitalize on the sock lead that he actually has. There is unfortunately going to be that forward smash, another forward smash. And just like how Fox's recovery is linear, it's going to be game over for that sock. Closing the gap quickly, Kurt Rigert is looking to take this back. Even with a 58% uh, deficit, Pikachu is able to uh, bring it back. But now with one stock, he's going to be able to land all the combos, all the hits that are needed to secure this win for him for 64. Lots of people in the background uh, cheering on uh, Kurt McGurk. Not cheering on the uh, tournament organizer. Uh, by the way, shout out to Kojo for actually organizing the tournament. It's been a huge blast. Also, shout out to everybody who has donated to the stream. We have come a long way with it, and there's only one way that we're going. Uh, the quality has immensely uh, gone up with it, and we are looking at a new capture card as well. So, good news to Kojo getting that counter pick for the vote with a fox. The unfortunate SD by Kerbiger did not help him out uh, with it. We're going to actually see him run back. Kerbiger, uh, hopefully going to be able to show uh, Kojo why Pikachu is top tier here. We'll see what happens. And getting walled off by that, that was a beautiful, oh my goodness. I thought that Kojo was going to get a survive by juking him out and going straight up, but getting the grab. Oh my goodness, fishing for those grabs, get it, get it. Never seen so many desperate grabs in my life. Jab up smash once again. Jab on the shield, up smash, uh, not sure if he was trying to roll away or grab uh, what was going on there. I believe even uh, up smash on the shield is unsafe. Sounds good. 
Take care and good luck. Even if it's on shields. Uh, Joe looking incredibly happy uh, when he's getting those. But otherwise, yes, there is an echo and we are aware of it. Right now, this is going to be the last tournament that we're actually going to be using these Astros for. We got some Audio Technicas coming in. And once we- Oh my goodness, so many grabs, so many missed grabs, far fingers for days. So because you don't get the grab. But the echo is known. It's not going to be addressed this term just because we're going to be getting, getting rid of these Astros and converting over to a mix amp with two actual mics. So, shout out to Astros, you make phenomenal headsets, but not for casting. by all those four smashes, oh my. I could not be, uh, could not be any more demoralizing for Kojo here. And just in the same position there, getting thrown off instead of actually, uh, of course, Wispy throwing, uh, he gets you off, so Bob does have the ability to recover. He's gonna be able to close out this deficit of three, oh my. I'm wondering if that was a uh, up smash instead of an actual, uh, instant up air. And that is going to be game. Kurt McGirt is your 64 champion. Let's go ahead and get.